Okay, so if you are a freelance content writer managing your content creation in WordPress, then you are in for a treat today because we're about to introduce you to a whole new way of working. But not just that, we'll show you how to collaborate seamlessly with your clients, team members and other important folks. So guess what? Well, we're going to help you simplify your workflow by getting rid of the hassle of switching between different tools and platforms. Now, here's the kicker. You've probably never heard of this solution yet. It can seriously supercharge your productivity. So are you excited and ready to dive in? Perfect. So let's get started. Okay, so let's pretend you're working on this document here. So this could be a blog post or perhaps a page as well within WordPress. So you would have your title and then your content underneath. So the first practical thing you can do with Multicollab is to add inline comments to yourself. So let's say you've been working on these few paragraphs here and then you have a statement like this one. One standout feature of Multicollab is the ability to invite guests to collaborate without requiring them to create a WordPress user account. So let's say you're not too sure about this statement here. You want to double check first. So what you can do is basically highlight this section here. And as you can see, you have this icon here with the plus sign here as well. Well, so I'll click on either of those and now you can add a comment to yourself. OK, so let's type this, for instance, check with clients if this is correct. And then you can post your comment. And as you can see by the side, the comment was added and now you can work on it and come back to it and mark it as resolved. So let's say you've checked with the client and this is indeed correct. Now you can mark this as resolved. OK. And there you go, as you can see now, this is resolved. Now you can also invite guests and team members. All you have to do is click on this icon here and now you can invite anyone to collaborate with you on this blog post. So all you have to do is click on this button here and all you need to invite them is their email address. So let's say we're going to invite David here as an example and then you can assign different roles. So you can invite them as a viewer or a commenter, okay? So in this case, let's pretend that David is going to be a commenter and then you can send David a personal message as well. And here you can type the message to your client or your team member, obviously, and then you would send the message and now they will receive an email. And as you can see, with a confirmation that the invitation was sent. Now you can close this window and here is the email that David received. As you can see, he's invited to collaborate on this blog post and all he has to do now is click on this button here to access the blog post without needing any credentials. And now you can leave a comment for David. So let's scroll down our page and let's say we have this statement here with Multicollab, you can collaborate seamlessly with clients and other team members on your contact project. So maybe you want to double check this with David. So now you can add a comment, okay? And now you can tag David directly. All you have to do is type the add sign and then select David here. And you can even assign this to David immediately. So what does that mean? Well, if you tick this box here, that means that David will be responsible for marking it as done. Whereas if it's not ticked, either of you can mark it as done. Okay, so let's type our comment here. So perhaps something like this is collaboration only with clients or team members. So now we can post our comment. And now from David's point of view, he will see your message and I can reply to it. So he's going to read your question. Is collaboration only with clients or team members? And I can reply. No, it can also be for any stakeholders and then post a reply. And now back to your screen, you can see David's comment. So all you have to do is click on it. It will bring you to this section. And I can see that it's also available for stakeholders. And now you can change the content of your blog post. So you can just add stakeholders here, for, for instance, you know. So there you go. You can collaborate seamlessly with clients, stakeholders and other team members on your content project. And obviously after this, you can mark this as done. And there you go. Now, when you post a comment, you can also attach a document. So let me show an example here. So if I was to highlight this and post a comment, I could tag David again and type my message. For instance, hi Dave, can you find me a royalty free image like this one to insert here in between the two paragraphs. And now I can attach an image. Okay, so let's click on this together. And then I'm gonna select an image and attach it to my document. And now let's post our comment. And now David can read your comment and open the file simply by clicking on this link. So now this could be an image or PDF file or whatever sort of file that you want to share, obviously, you know. And now David can work on this and insert the image here in between those two paragraphs. Very good. So back to our screen. Now, if you scroll down the page, you will see that David added the image and you can also add inline comments on images. So if you click on the image itself, click on this icon here and now you can post your comment as well. 
And now let me show you the best feature of all, which is a suggestion mode. So for this, you need to go back to multi-collab settings and you need to enable it first. Okay, so use the toggle switch here. As you can see now, it's enabled and now we can offer suggestions. So let me show you how this feature works. Okay, so let's say we have this statement here. Multi-collab offers freelance content writer a fresh perspective on enhancing the content collaboration process within the WordPress platform. So let's say the word fresh here, maybe it's not suitable. Maybe I want to say a brand new perspective, okay? All I have to do is to highlight the text here. And as you can see, the suggestion mode is on. And now all I need to do to offer a suggestion is hit the delete key. And now the word fresh is marked off. And now next to it, I can offer my suggestion, okay? So I said brand new. As you can see, one is in red one is in green okay and let's say next instead of within the wordpress platform i would say directly in wordpress okay so what i can do is delete this okay and now directly in and now we would need to delete this one as well then delete okay so that's basically this is my suggestion and now anyone coming along can either accept or reject the suggestion okay so let's say we're going to accept this one here so let's accept this and we will do the same with the word fresh we will accept that we want to delete this okay and there you go as you can see those changes have taken place now let's do the same with this one but this one we're going to reject it all together we prefer it the way it was before so i'm just going to reject and reject this as well okay there you go. So we reject those changes. And as you can see now, it reverted back to its original state. And you can also offer formatting suggestions. So for instance, if I was to suggest this word should be in bold and italic. Again, as you can see, this is recorded right here. And again, anyone coming along can either accept or reject the suggestion. So if I accept the suggestion, it's now in bold and italic as well. And now by the side, if you click on the multi-collab logo, as you can see, you have a full overview of all the activities taking place on this blog post which makes it very easy to follow along and know exactly what's happening and you can also check the summary right here as you can see if you click on this you know exactly how many comments and how many suggestions were posted on this blog post all right so in conclusion let me recap all the main benefits of using multi-collab as a freelance writer so number one keeps writing on track so this one's all about making sure you don't wander off topic when you're writing a lengthy piece okay number two proofread effectively so this one's handy because it makes editing easier and opens the door for outside feedback so number three track changes so with this you can breeze through review cycles and easily share feedback number four organizes thoughts so think of this as your tool for structuring your content to have a bigger impact so number five, minimizes distractions. So this one's great for keeping your focus by reducing distractions from jumping between apps. And finally, number six, improves efficiency because clearly multi-collab speeds up your writing process, delivering more value to your readers. Okay guys, so I hope you found this helpful. If so, please consider giving us a thumbs up and also feel free to share with all your friends and perhaps also all the freelance writers you may know. If you want to discover more about Multicollab, we'll leave a playlist right here.